morning guys so it is sunday it is a little bit of a gloomy day today but um it's a good day anyways but today's plans um i have to do a lot of filming today so that's kind of priority number one um my mom is coming to visit me um, but also just mainly to help me film it's always really nice to have an extra set of hands um and then we also have to do loads of returns honestly um this previous you will have seen it by now the zara haul that i had done um that one took quite a few tries meaning i actually ordered several times from zara um just because i really really struggled to find pieces that i loved and that fit me well and that the quality was there and it matched the price and so honestly i quite struggled with zara and um, so we are going to return the things that didn't work and i did talk to you a little bit about a couple of the pieces that didn't work but honestly there were a lot more um it would have been an entire haul of what i returned <laughs> so i didn't want to talk about all of those but those are going to be going back and obviously um we're going to be stopping at Aritzia, so maybe i'll find something maybe not we'll see <laughs> so that's the plan for today um hopefully it doesn't rain later we'll see um but right now i'm just having a tea just having an orange pico tea but I wanted to um, take a moment and actually show you a new bag. I'm pretty sure that you guys will have seen it by now because I have zero patience when it comes to new items. Like, is anyone else like that? Like, you just get something and like you just wear it like right away. Yeah, I'm like that. So I'm sure I have already worn this bag and you guys will have seen it by now on my Instagram. Um, but because I haven't worn it yet, I am gonna sit down and show you it. I'm gonna take it out of the bag kind of do a mini unboxing for you. The bag I will be opening up today is from Teddy Blake. So Teddy Blake kindly reached out to me and they sent me this bag. I was obviously by no means forced to talk about it, um, but um, after looking at it, it looked really, really beautiful. And so I wanted to kind of open it up with you, give you my first impressions, and then today later on, I think if we go out, I'm going to wear it and then I'll be able to kind of tell you a little bit more about the bag. <laughs> um, what I know about this brand, it's from New York. Um, their main aspect is that they want to offer this, the, the look and feel of luxury bags without the price tag. And that was something that stuck out to me and kind of why I went ahead and accepted this lovely bag was because you guys know. I love minimal kind of looks. I love very classy and timeless pieces and the same goes for my bags. So when I saw how kind of luxurious the style of the bag was, I was all for it. It really reminded me um, of a Louis Vuitton bag that I've been longing for. <laughs> um, so the style was really reminiscent of that and so I want to show it to you. So I kind of have taken it out of the box but it comes in this lovely little Teddy Blake dust bag. Dust bags are honestly so great to use for so many things. But I chose, I chose the Ava bag. Um, this is obviously a top handle, but it also is a crossbody. So I'm assuming that the strap is in here. Um, and I chose it in this beautiful kind of taupe warm brown color. Um, I have a black bag. I didn't want another black bag. So I went with something that was much more muted, a little bit lighter if I ever wanted to wear outfits that are gonna be kind of lighter in tones, like more neutrals. And that's why I went with this bag. Um, the other reason I went with this particular style was because of the leather. So all of their leather, as far as I know, is Italian um, leather, really finely crafted, um, which is amazing. And definitely it smells and um, feels like amazing quality but i did go with this kind of more textured leather just because it is for me more long wearing especially I have long nails and when you have this smooth leather and um, it tends to get scratched a little bit easier so that's why i went with this particular style and of course i went with the smaller size just because it's easier to wear as a crossbody when it's a little bit smaller um if i want a bigger bag i have my other bags for that <laughs> but that was the bag that I chose um, and I will have a discount code for you in the description box. Um, 
so you guys can use that if you'd like but I'm gonna wear it today and hopefully see how I get on with it so yeah that's just kind of my quick little rant about Teddy Blake it really does look beautiful oh my god it even goes with my decor are you seeing that <laughs> anyways I'm gonna well, well, I have to do my hair. I just kind of blow dried it and straightened it a little bit this morning, but looking a little crazy right now. Um, the other thing is, guys, Instagram is growing so fast. I don't even like, I can't even get my head around how fast it's actually growing. Like, it's kind of scary, guys. Um, but it's really exciting too. So, um, yeah, it's just like, I keep like I'm in shock. <laughs> But um, right now I am gonna give this apartment a tidy up. I am also going to do my hair because I know later we are gonna go out after we film and um, I need help. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna finish drinking my tea and yeah. Right now I just spent the whole day filming um, but I'm now going to Zara and Aritzia. I have loads of things to return. If you saw, you should have already seen it, the newest kind of Zara haul. I actually had to do several orders in order to find like pieces that I really, really loved and it took me kind of a lot of tries. So now I'm returning all the pieces that did not work out and hopefully this doesn't take forever, but that's kind of the plan. I'm with my mom today. We are having a girl's day. She came and helped me film a little bit, but that's kind of the plan. Um, just to go out and like, get a coffee as well um, on the way. But let's get going because we have a lot of things to do. So, so I went up to grab an umbrella and I decided to change my outfit. I just, I wasn't feeling the black. So I went with an all like cream and pink outfit. But anyways, we are heading out now. So I just need to update you on that outfit change. buy something so hopefully when I get home I will show you um, now we're just gonna head for Luffer I guess lunch dinner we're gonna go to Trattoria Nervosa we all know it's my favorite we know <laughs> so we're gonna get pasta and then we're gonna go home. raining so we we're walking in the rain but we got gelato my mom's just holding my ice cream while I vlog but <laughs> there it is I got okay the flavor was Boccaccio if there's any Italians please correct me on my pronunciation but um, it tastes exactly like Ferrero Rocher and Ferrero Rocher has to be my all-time favorite chocolate I could easily eat like 30 Ferreros in like one sitting um, also rhymes with my last name <laughs> but uh, that's what we're having. We're just gonna head home now, but we just wanted to get something sweet after uh, Lopper because we did have our pasta, which was amazing. But yeah, now we're just heading home and hopefully I'll show you what I got at Aritzia. But yeah, let's go. Hello, it is a new day and it is, again, mm, it's not sunny today. I'm starting to miss the sun, but I love the fall weather. Um, I wanted to show you the new purchase that I got at Aritzia. I know I said I was going to show you and I didn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm showing you now, okay. So, I got a new coat and, uh, or jacket, I guess you could say. Here's the deal. I am not a super puff gal, okay. Um, too much puff and I, I've tried them on before, okay, there was one style that I actually, I really liked, um, and super puffs are super cute, okay.
okay i know so many ladies and girls who look phenomenal in their super puffs from aritzia if you don't know what the super puff from aritzia is it's just a really it's your classic like um down jacket you know the, the puff jacket <laughs> so i have tried it on before really cute and it just mm, it just did not wasn't my thing so i definitely needed a jacket that was going to be more kind of casual and great for every day something that i could pop on and go to the grocery store in um without needing to you know necessarily get overly dressed even though i still always love to look presentable in what i wear even if i'm going to the grocery store and um, i needed something that was a little bit more casual and just easy to wear so i picked myself up a tna puffer jacket in this kind of gorgeous olive green color i feel like this is our chatting coach <laughs> but this is um not it is a puffer coat it goes down just a little bit above your knee um but as you can see it is not a super puff it is um we'll call it um a mini puff it's just got very minimal puff um and something that i when i tried it on it felt super 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 warm and i didn't want to go with black just because i have a lot of black and i wear a lot of black so i thought i could go with a color that was still very classy nothing too bright or anything um but that would still look really really nice with like a black outfit underneath because let's be real that's what i wear i wear a lot of black and i thought this would look gorgeous even with like hunter boots i do have a pair of hunter boots and that's what i use in the winter um and i thought that would look gorgeous with this um again super kind of perfect for every day and so affordable guys this was where's the tag did i take the tag off this was 118 dollars like for a coat for a jacket that is phenomenal like i my skirt was more expensive than this <laughs> so um honestly i think this is such a good find i should put it on for you let me put it on for you all right so this is the jacket so kind of comfy i'm going to show you in a mirror i finally have like a full length mirror i still need to get a new one but um so this is what the jacket looks like as you can see it is so so classy and this color is just phenomenal if you're wearing like all black underneath and even with this kind of white cardigan it looks super classy um but i just wanted something that was going to be really great for every day um and this puff is just, I don't know, I, I think it's so pretty. I've never been a puffer jacket person, but this is so pretty. And I love the length. So again, I'm 5'3", guys. I'm not overly tall. And this hits just above my knee. My knee's down here. It's just, just above my knee, which is perfect if you're wearing knee-high boots that are going to go, like, down here. It's going to look really, really pretty. And this color, I think, just keeps it really classy as well. That was my new purchase. I'm just going to walk around my house in my new jacket now. <laughs> um, but let me take this off. I'm going to get so hot in here. So, yeah. That was what I got at Aritzia yesterday. I did spot a couple other... Um, I'm sorry. I'm walking around so much. I need to just like sit down and chat with you guys. So, I... Um, I tried on a ton of things at Aritzia yesterday. And I wasn't planning on buying anything, um, but I do like to, especially when it comes to um, Aritzia, I definitely like to try things on. Thankfully, I have I have a lot of Aritzia, so I can, I do know how most things fit on my body personally, which is nice, and how the materials fit, um, again, which is nice. But when it comes to trying on coats, things that are going to be investment pieces, I have to try them on. When I'm spending over $300 or $400 on a coat, I have to try it on. I have to make sure it fits perfectly, that I am like absolutely in love with it. Like there is no way I'm spending that much money if I'm not going to love it. I need to want to reach for that coat every single day if I'm going to spend that much on it. So I did find a coat and hopefully I'll be getting that soon. Um, it is just, 
phenomenal. Um, like I said to you guys, I was looking for an oversized coat. Uh, not like the Zara one that was way too oversized, but I needed something um, that was going to be dressy, casual, everything. And I think I found one. I think I found one. So I will be buying that soon. It's going to be in black because, again, if I'm spending that much, I need this coat to last me forever. I actually have an Aritzia coat um, that I've had for... seven years seven years and this coat looks brand new um something i'm not gonna go on a rant i feel like i'm going on a rant about aritzia but something that i can truthfully say is yes aritzia is expensive but their quality is phenomenal but something you do have to consider is aritzia carries various brands um tna i don't know what their quality is like i have barely anything from tna i have socks and the coat that's it. So I don't know if that's overpriced and if the quality isn't there. The brands that I typically buy from Aritzia are Babaton, Wilfred, and Sunday Best. I have a couple things from Sunday Best. Those brands, for sure, I can say the quality is phenomenal. There is no complaints whatsoever, which means that you can buy a top and it'll just wash and wash and wash and wash. Obviously, if you're following the washing instructions properly, but it'll last you forever. Their pants, their blazers are just phenomenal. Someone is trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of my deal with Aritzia. Actually, I need to work with them because I spend so much money that it's just like, I'm gonna go broke shopping at Aritzia, honestly, like so bad. Um, but the one thing I did wanna chat with you was, I think I'm gonna do a Q&A, guys. I don't know why I've been so hesitant to do a QA. and a I'm honestly such a private person, like, in like in my in my life very few people I think can say that they know me really well um, I think a lot of people know me kind of on the surface kind of first impressions what I look like what I do on an everyday but very few people I think can actually say that they know me as a person so it's kind of scary to answer all these questions but I'm gonna do it I think I am actually gonna do kind of like a two-part video or maybe just do it all in one video and I think I'm gonna do your assumptions about me and then I will answer all your questions. I think I watched, I don't know who it was, it might have been Lydia, I think so many people have done it, like an assumption. So you guys tell me all your assumptions that you have about me and I kind of chat about them. Um, and I think it's really interesting because I think when you look a certain way, it's, I think humans just tend to always assume that they know someone um, and I think it's always really interesting to see what those assumptions are and I know I've seen a bunch of people comment things and I'm like oh my god if they only knew if they only knew <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do um, like an assumptions about me and then a Q&A and potentially I'll just kind of throw it all in one video and I'll do like the first five minutes will be assumptions and then the last like 10 minutes will be kind of questions um, so if you follow me on Instagram keep an eye out because I will be asking for questions and assumptions shortly and soon um probably around the time that this video will go up i will be doing that um so i'm kind of excited for that and i think you guys are too i think you're all kind of curious about who i am and that's totally fair i mean obviously like you guys i'm like showing you so much of my life so um yeah i'm kind of excited about that um so that should be coming up in the next couple of weeks which will be really exciting I'm really excited talking to you guys today. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna stop chatting. I really have to get myself get going for the day. I need to eat and all that. So I'm gonna stop chatting and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay guys, I am just about to head out because I do have to go to work, but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. So this is, can you guys see? <laughs> this is my club double breasted blazer from Aritzia and then I'm wearing the matching trousers just my white lacoste sneakers and then my little cardigan underneath honestly really really simple outfit if you wanted to dress this up even more just add some black heels or nude heels and you're set I'm not taking a jacket so I hope I don't freeze <laughs> honestly it's like the story of my life I just I don't feel like wearing a jacket today so I'm gonna, 17 degrees, should be fine, right? Should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna try and 
make do without a coat. It looks sunny out, so I think I should be okay. But anyways, I got my mask. Um, honestly, after trying out loads of masks, these Victoria's Secret ones are the best. So comfy. The material on the inside is really, really soft. And honestly, I just wash things by hand. I use my um, facial cleanser, and that's what I use to wash my mask, and it works great. But anyways, I'm gonna get going. Maybe I'll get a coffee on the way there. We'll see, but yeah, I gotta go. Hello guys, it is now later in the evening and I just got home, I changed. This is a really uh, simple kind of H&M dress. I just sat here on my island. I'm gonna have dinner. I actually ordered from this place called Mad Radish um, and I got like a salad kind of bowl thing. I really just wanted like a quick and easy meal because I was really hungry. Um, that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. I'm gonna do some work and that's gonna be my night, but I'm really, really hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Good morning. Um, so it's a new day. Today, I wanted to kind of spend the morning with you. I got myself ready, I did my makeup, I did my hair, and I'm using, you guys are always asking what lip color I'm wearing. And I use the Rare Beauty Balm in Thankful. It is just my go-to. It feels so nice on the lips. And I feel like it gives me the nicest tint. Um, but, so I got myself dressed. I'm wearing my Cypri dress. Cypri? Cypri? Cypri dress, again. Um, I just think it's like the perfect dress to honestly just be around the house in. But also, it's so beautiful to dress up. Um, <clears throat> right now... I'm gonna go and grab a coffee um, at a just a coffee shop nearby, and I'm gonna come back up and edit a video for you guys. <laughs> um, that's kind of the plan, but I want to just kind of spend my morning with you, go get coffee with you, and then sit down and do some work, and then that'll be the end of the vlog. So let's go, let's go get some coffee together and do some work. All right, so I just wanted to show you what I am wearing to go get coffee. So I'm, I just, like I said, I'm wearing my Cypri dress and I just paired a blazer over top because it is a little bit colder and then just some sneakers because um, obviously like I'm doing a lot of walking. I know a lot of you have been asking me about these. These are Lacoste, um, so, so comfy. Honestly, I couldn't recommend them enough if you're doing a lot of walking. Um, and then I just paired it with my black coach bag. Just something kind of casual, um, but still kind of keeping cozy. This is how I love to dress down my outfits. It's just a pair of blazer over them and then some sneakers. Honestly, what don't white sneakers <laughs> go with? So that is kind of just what I'm wearing. Not kind of. That is what I'm wearing. I am going to grab my phone, my mask. And get a coffee. I don't know if I want coffee or maybe I should do a matcha latte. Hmm. I don't know what I'm feeling like today. Definitely a croissant. <laughs> always, always a croissant. So anyways, let's get going because I'm going to be here all day. I don't know where my keys are either. I need to wash my mask. It's so dirty. Keys. Shut this light off. All right. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm back. I got a Caramel macchiato with almond milk and half of like the syrup Honestly, I haven't gotten a caramel macchiato in so long. I used to drink these Religiously like it was the only drink I would have and then I think I just had it so much that I got a little bit tired of it and um, It was just a little bit too sweet, but today I felt like something really sweet even though I did get half the sweetener in it and then of course I got... Is anyone surprised? croissant like usual um but although i am starting a new vlog today um i did actually just want to talk to you a little bit about the teddy blake 
bag that I kind of talked about at the beginning of the video because I said that I would kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of how it actually wore because one thing is to give you my first impressions and then a second thing is to actually wear the bag and see how it wears and feels and holds up. So, um, my biggest kind of first thing that I noticed, kind of like the first thing that I noticed about the bag was the fact that it actually holds quite a bit. So I actually want to show you the size difference, um, kind of like side by side with my coach purse. They look to be identical. So there are the two bags side by side. As you can see, they are almost identical in size. This one is just like a smidgen bit taller. Um, but the Teddy Blake actually fits more things in it. And I want to say that that's because um, the inside has no compartments. So as you can see here, it is just empty I had just put everything back in there but um, it is empty like there's no slots whereas in my coach purse you do have more slots which is nice um, in terms of like organization um, but in terms of actually fitting more things in this one is actually a little bit easier to wear which I really really like the other thing that's a little bit odd is the closing mechanism and this is what I was initially kind of like skeptical about um so this is what it looks like and in all fairness this is probably my favorite part of the bag is this kind of closure mechanism because it looks so minimalistic but at the beginning i was a little bit um i struggled a little bit to open it with one hand while i was walking so in order to open it you would have to flip these out and then just open it up and then it does have like a little magnet in here so, although it's not as bad as I thought, it's not the easiest bag in the world to open and close. Um, but, something I can say about it is, if you are in a country where perhaps, you know, ensuring that your bag is in front of you is important and making sure that, um, you know, just pickpockets are maybe more of an issue. I know I have women from all around the world, so if that's the case, this is a great bag for that, just because if you have it in front of you, that locking mechanism isn't as easy as say the coach bag where you could just kind of tap it in and it would pop open and you could stick your hand, someone could stick their hand in there. Um, so that's something I actually really like about the Teddy Blake. Um, it does make me feel a little bit more secure because someone would really have to fumble with that kind of opening mechanism in order to get in there. Um, but otherwise the leather is still beautiful. It has not scuffed whatsoever um, I actually really really have enjoyed styling it and I will continue to do so with different outfits I think the color is really really beautiful and it goes with a lot of different things um, So yeah, that was just kind of my little update. I really do love it and um, the only thing I have to say was Although the bag was gifted very kindly to me by Teddy Blake um I did want to let you know that the customs, so for me being in Canada and Toronto, was quite steep. It was over $100, um, and although the bag for the price is phenomenal, um, paying those customs, I'm not so sure if I would do that again. Um, so that's just something to consider and obviously this is going to depend on where you are in the world. They are obviously uh, a brand from New York. So just bear that in mind, but other than that, I really do love the bag and I'm, I've am i been wearing it quite a lot lately with a lot of different outfits. I think when I wear my really like light and bright kind of neutral tone outfits, it looks really, really beautiful. So that was my little, man, I try to keep things so short. Nothing ever stays short. So that was my little update. Right now I am going to sit here and edit any video for you guys um and just kind of wrap up the vlog here because i'm gonna start a new vlog today um for next week <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited um hopefully that'll be a nice and long vlog as well but yeah i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys